Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are using that NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation, the one I used in my last video, but we're going to go ahead and test it out with a brush today. And today I'm using the NYX 03 brush. It is one of my favorite foundation brushes, super soft. And again, this foundation retails for $49 and it is one ounce. So we're going to start off with the Becca First Light primer it is also one of my favorites it is for illuminating the skin and it's also for dull skin which i have and i'm just going to warm it up in my fingers and apply it all over my face now we're going to go ahead and pump the nars foundation on my hand which i prefer to do I feel that it's not enough, so I'm going to actually use two pumps today and see how it works. And I'm also going to take my favorite rose gold elixir from Farsali and mix it in with the foundation just to test it out with my favorite mixer. And that's what it looks like. It scared me at first. It separated on my hand, but I'm going to go ahead and just apply it anyways. And using the brush... I feel like it definitely mixed in all the ingredients, the Farsley Rose Gold Elixir, with the foundation pretty good. Now we're going on with the concealer. I've been loving the Kylie Skin Concealers lately, and this is the shade Maple. I use the Himalaya when I want a more brightening kind of look but in today's video this is just for lightning and again we're going to use the L Laura Mercier loose translucent setting powder which is obviously my fave if you've been watching my videos and just set the parts where I used that concealer and now we're going to go back to the Urban Decay shapeshifter palette in the medium palette and use those contour shades just to contour up my nose and I usually use this palette almost every day or if I'm in a rush it's definitely one of my favorites to contour with and I don't usually talk about it so another favorite is the Hoola Benefit Bronzer it's been my favorite since I've been trying out makeup since the beginning we're going to go with the Burt's Bees Blush in Bare Peach. I definitely love that as well. It's definitely a soft kind of blush. Laura Geller Highlighter in the shade Gilded Honey is definitely another favorite, which I don't really talk about. And for red lipstick, Meet Matt Hughes Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Loyal has to be one of the best matte formulas I've ever used on my lips and it never stains. It's beautiful. I didn't even have to clean it up. I really love that lipstick. Again, the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 setting spray. It's my go-to. Just melts everything all together perfectly. Can't live without it. Okay guys, that was my video tested out the brand new NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Sahel Medium 2.5 with a brush this time and some of my favorite products. This is the end result. Um, I created kind of a Valentine's Day look just because it is the month of love in February. Valentine's Day is coming up soon. Just in case you might want to use this look if you did grab that NARS foundation. In my opinion, the NARS foundation was scary when I did mix it with the rose gold elixir, but when I applied it to my skin, it definitely blended out well. I was not expecting that. I used two pumps this time, and it actually worked super well with this kind of luminous primer and I wasn't expecting that either because I feel like it's already luminous. It didn't give me an extra, extra extreme luminous glow but I still have that luminous glow that it has on its own 
but um, I did use a bunch of luminous products. I used my Kylie kind of thicker concealer with this and it didn't get cakey or anything. I don't feel like I have much foundation or anything on my skin again. I would say that this foundation is kind of medium to full coverage, more full coverage than I thought and initially thought and I thought it was medium to light but it's actually pretty full coverage and it definitely evened, evened out my skin complexion. Uh, I didn't have to spot conceal even though I do have that spot still. My Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 go-to always, it's just my favorite in the world and it just pairs well with anything that I wear. And so, overall, with my favorites and my go-tos, this foundation worked well and I'm not upset about it at all. I did use a blender to blend out the concealer. If I was in a rush, I definitely would use that brush again. I honestly do think that for my preference I did like the finger application better but if I was in a rush or anything I think I would use the brush because I feel like it it wasn't it didn't take very long to apply all over the skin and it was good it blended everything out well and that was my video guys hope you enjoyed my second NARS foundation test with the brush and my favorites I will probably do one more video on the NARS foundation testing it with maybe a blender on the skin and uh, other products that I'd like to feature in that video so stay tuned for that don't forget I do have a giveaway on my channel it will be linked down in the description box if you want to win that a bunch of stuff like earrings and shirts and palettes and lip glosses and all that go ahead and take a look at that and all you have to do is subscribe to my channel and comment in that video again that was my video and i will see you guys all next time in my next video bye guys